hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be making this beautiful shoulder dart bustier so if this look at what you're interested in definitely keep on watching i've gone ahead to draft out all the necessary body measurement that i'll be needing this is the shoulder line okay this is the bust point this is the under bust and then the full length of the top okay so the first thing i'm going to go ahead to do is to take the neck measurement all right so this is just a standard neck measurement okay? so you are going to use three by three inches okay this is not going to be the actual neck measurement of this top but for this drafting process we are going to use that right so le later on we are going to go ahead to draft out the main neck we are going to be using so for now this is what we have and then we are going to divide our shoulder measurement by two and whatever we have we are going to place that here we are going to place that here and let it be for now okay this is my shoulder measurement divided by two all right so the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do is to get my nipple to nipple measurement okay so my nipple to nipple measurement is four so on the bust point, I'm going to input 4, okay? My nipple to nipple measurement divided by 2 is 4. Then on the under bust point, I'm going to go by 3 and a half. And on the full length, 3 and a half as well, okay? So when I've gotten this, I'm going to go ahead and connect these two lines. Alright, and I'm also going to connect from the under bust to the bust line like this okay so when we have gotten this the next thing we are going to do is to divide these two lines okay so from the tip of our neck to the tip of our shoulder remember is this second one not the first one the first one was a mistake so from the tip of our, of our neck to this place we are going to find the midpoint okay so here is the midpoint we are going to connect this midpoint back to our bust line with our stretch rule okay now this is what we have okay so having gotten this to get our shoulder that we are going to go in and out of this midpoint by one inch okay so one inch on this side and one inch on this other side okay so when we have gotten this we are going to go ahead now and connect from this that we have taken back to our bust point right so this is what we have this is what we have here okay so whatever we have here now we are going to go back to our sh um shoulder line okay so remember that this is our shoulder line okay so whatever we have here we have two inches we are going to replace it here okay so this is what we have then on that point, we are going to come down by one inch for our shoulder slope, okay? So we are now going to connect this one inch back to the tip of our neck, all right? So this is what we have. Then from there, we are going to come down by armhole depth, which we get by dividing our bust measurement by four and adding one and a half to it, okay? So when I've gotten this, when I've gotten this, I'm just going to take whatever I have from here to here okay this is just so I can get a straight line okay I'm doing this just so I can get a straight line okay but it's not compulsory you just you take it across so let me just take it from here okay so I would not have to take it from the beginning all right I hope you understand what I'm saying okay it doesn't matter whether you take it from here or from here. What, what matters is that you record, you take this line so you know that this is your chest line, okay? So after doing this, the next thing I'm going to do is to connect, okay, from here to this line, okay? So whatever I have from here to this point is nine and a half. I'm going to take it here so I can get a straight line on that part as well. Okay, so this is what I have as a shoulder uh, armhole slope, okay? So from here to here, I'm going to find our midpoint. This is to get our armhole curve, okay? So on that our midpoint, we are going to go in by 0 0.2 inches, okay? 
So after doing that, the next thing we are going to do is to, but before we connect, on our chest line, we have to make sure we will take our bust measurement divided by four, okay? We are going to divide our bust measurement by four. So when we divide our bust measurement by four, this is what we have, okay? And then we are going to take whatever we have here, and then we are going to place it here, okay? So this is what we have, all right? So I'm not going to connect the curve. Okay. So this is our bust line. Don't worry, we are going to get there in a minute. All right. So the next thing we are going to do is on this our under bust line. All right. We are going to take our that line. We are going to go out by two inches for the side going on this side. Okay. This is the shaping side. We are going to go out by two inches. But if you are a lot busty. If you are very very busty, you can go out by two and a half or even three. Okay, so this depends on how busty you are. Okay, so when I've gotten this, I'm going to go ahead and connect. All right, so let me just make this place clearer. Okay, so when we have gotten this, we are going to connect this with our curve back to our boss line. Right, so this is what we have. This is what we have. Okay, so we are going to go ahead now and impute our body measurement. Okay, so this on our under boss, we are going to divide our under boss by four. Right, we are going to divide our under boss by four. Whatever we have, we are going to replace what we have in between this our dart here, and what we have is two inches. We are going to replace it here. So we are also going to divide our waist measurement on our full length of this top and then also replace whatever we have there, okay? So that is what we did here. And after that, we are just going to connect with our ruler. So if you are very curvy, this is not the shape of what you are going to get. We are going to get something better, okay? Something a little curvy. Okay, so remember here we have not added any stitching allowance. We are going to add our stitching allowance later when we are drafting this on our actual fabric. Okay, so this is what we have. We are going to go ahead now and cut out. Okay, so this is the part that is going to be cut out. This is the shoulder part. We are cutting this part out. And we are also cutting this dart on the under bust out. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, and for the neck, remember I told you that this might not be the neck I'm going to be using, but we are going to leave it at this now so that later on, after we are done joining, we are now going to trim out the neck. We are going to give the neck the desired shape that we want. Okay, but we want to join this dart first so that when we are cutting, the wideness of the neck might exceed this dart so when we are cutting after joining this dart we are going to get the accuracy of the neck that we need okay so for now this is what we have all right we are going to go ahead now and cut out and then we cut out the back For the back, I've gone ahead to also draw out all the necessary body measurements. This is the shoulder line, the bust point, under bust, and full length of this top. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, like just like we did for the front, is to take our basic neck measurement, which is three by one and a half for the back. Okay, so you should note by now that the front and the back is not the same. Okay. The back is often higher than the front, right? So when we have gotten this, we are going to divide our shoulder measurement by two, and this is what we have. Okay, first off, I have to say that the back and the front is not going to be the same. The back is going to have a normal dart, okay? Remember the normal dart we normally take? If you don't remember, you are going to see it in a minute, okay? So when I have slanted my shoulder, what I'm going to go ahead to do is to take out my armhole measurement, okay? The depth of my armhole. This is what I have. Then I'm just going to draw out my chest line, all right? So after drawing up my chest line, I'm going to go ahead and connect my armhole depth, all right? So this is what I have. 
to get my armhole curve like we normally do i'm just going to quickly get my armhole curve you should have known how to do that by now since we do this all the time in the channel okay so this is what we have this is what we have the next thing we are going to do is to take our darts okay for this bag we are supposed to add our zipper allowance but we are not remember we have not added any zipper allowance for both the front and the back okay so i'm going to put the half of my nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches i'm going to place it on the chest line the bust line the under bust line and also the full length of the top okay so when i've gotten this to get my darts i'm going to go in and out of the dart line by 0 0.5 inches okay this is on the full length of the top then from there i'm going to connect my dart straight up to the chest line okay this is for the back remember i said we are, it's going to have a regular dart so in case you've forgotten this is how to take a regular dart okay so when i've gotten this this is what we have i'm just going to make the length clearer so we can see where we are working from exactly okay so having gotten this we are almost through with the back just impute your basic body measurement and then replace your dart where is needed like here this is what we have i'm going to replace it here okay so on the full length this is what we have and i'm going to replace what we have here okay so whatever you have in between your dart is what you are going to replace on the shaping area okay so remember like we said we have not added any stitching allowance both the zipper allowance and the normal stitching allowance okay so this is what we have we have not added any stitching allowance so remember when we are placing this on our actual fabric we are going to go ahead to add our stitching allowance So having gotten that, the next thing I'm going to do is we are going to remove the zipper, the zip bulge on this back. So to get rid of the zip bulge, what you are going to do is on your waistline, you are going to come in on the center back. Remember that this is the center back by 0 0.5 inches. That is half of an inch. Okay, let me label this the center back so we know what we are doing. Okay, so from there, I'm going to take a line straight to top of the chest line okay on a slanted form this is to eliminate zip bulge okay so we are going to cut this place out okay so i'm going to go ahead now and cut out half for the front we have not cut the neck part remember we said after joining the dart, we are going to cut the neck part. And this is what we have for the side, for the back. We didn't cut the neck part as well, okay? So this is what we are going to use to trace on our actual fabric. This, so these are all the materials we'll be needing. This is a very beautiful African fabric. This is the Ankara fabric, okay? So this is a, a hair stay that I'll be using to interface my fabric. This is the foam part I'll be using. I don't know if this is going to be enough, but I'm going to see, okay? So, and we are also going to be using this black lining. So, you can decide to interface your lining. Me, I like using the medium gum stay to interface my lining anytime, any day, okay? So, let's, let me interface the, all the fabric I'm going to be using, and then we go ahead to start cutting out. After we were done interfacing, this is what we have. I just placed the front. This is the front part. I placed it on my actual fabric and then I go ahead to add 0 0.5 inches all around. This is the center front, right? So 0 0.5 inches all around. Then on the side front, I did not add anything on the armhole. And on the shaping side, I added 1.5 inches for both the turning of the lining and the shaping, okay? So I'm going to go ahead now and cut. What I did for the back, okay, so on the zipper side, I added zipper allowance, on the shipping side, I added shipping allowance, 
on the damp pattern, I added 0 0.5 inches allowance, okay? So I also notched the midpoint of my dart, okay? So I don't get confused when it's time to take the dart, all right? And one thing, I did not interface the back the way I interface the front, okay? So this is what I have for my actual fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and do this exact same thing on my lining. Now, so you have to go ahead and notch your underbust, okay? So I forgot to say this when I was cutting out, notch your underbust. So this is the foam part that I said I was going to use, and I folded it into two, okay? So I placed my center front like this, and I made sure the foam part is at least 0 0.5 inches below the underbust that I notched, okay? As you can see, this is the underbust, and this is where the foam part is, okay? So... This is how I'm going to cut it out. I'm just going to trace it out like this, okay? And for the down part, I'm going to cut it in a sweetheart form, okay? So this is what I have. This is for the center front, okay? Let me just place this so we we'll see how it's going to be, okay? This is how it's going to be looking. Make sure it's 0 0.5 inches below the underbust like this okay so I'm going to go ahead and cut the side for the side I also went ahead to notch the down okay so the part I was using was not enough so I, I also found this little piece of part that I had before okay so this is what I'm going to do I'm also going to make sure that the part starts 0 0.5 inches below 3.5 inches below the underboss, okay? So this is what I have. I've already cut out one piece. So in case you are wondering why it's not folded into two, I've already cut out one piece. So I actually needed one piece, okay? So this is what I have. I just trace this out like this. And then I'm just going to cut out. Okay? So this is what I have. Let me just shape this. Okay. This is what I have for both sides of the cup. Okay. So let me just place this. This is what it's going to look like. Okay. So that is all for the cup part. At this point, this is what we have. We are going to go ahead now and start joining. Okay. So this is how we are going to join. Right, so you are going to join making sure that the two notches you left on the underbust is aligning. Then you are going to join from there down. Then you come back and join up. Okay, make sure you are joining with 0 0.5 inches. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side as well. I'm going to make sure I'm joining with 0 0.5 inches and that the two notches are corresponding. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and join. After we are done joining. And ironing it so after we are done joining it I notched it as you can see then I pressed it open okay I pressed it open so this is what we have this is what we have okay so the next thing we are going to do is to fold this make sure we get the center so we can go ahead and cut the neck part okay Make sure we get the center. So this depends on how wide you want your neck to be. Okay. So I want my neck to be wide. So I'm going to use 5 inches. Okay. Have you seen that these have passed the dart line? Okay. For the depth, I want this to have a sweet neck hat neck so i went in by five um, by seven inches okay so i'm just going to connect all right this is what i have i'm going to cut like so so this exact same thing is what i'm going to go ahead to cut on my lining as well 
can see, this is what we have. Okay? Remember what we used was 5 inches for the width. So when we are cutting on the lining as well, we are going to use 5 inches for the width. For the back, sorry, we are going to use 5 inches for the width as well. I placed both the actual fabric and the lining together and then I measured 5 inches. Remember that that is what we used for the front, okay? I measured 5 inches. Sorry, I'm supposed to measure 6 inches because 1 inch is for our zipper allowance, remember? So I'm supposed to measure 6 inches and not 5 inches, okay? So for the depth, I'm going to use 1.5 for the depth, okay? Because the back is going to have a high neck. And this is what we have. So just just so we are on the safer side, I just want to measure this and ensure that we have the correct width. Okay. So this is what we have for the back. All right. I cut both the lining and the fabric together, and this is what we have for the front. I went ahead to cut down a little bit when I placed it on my body and it was high i went ahead to go down a little bit okay so i'm going to do the exact same thing for the lining so after the lining after cutting it out we are going to turn everything with the we are going to turn both the lining and the um, actual fabric together um top is not going to have a sleeve i started to turn everywhere including the armhole okay so what i went ahead to do is to join the lining for both the front and the back and then the clothes for both the front and the back as you can see okay so after doing that i just place the lining on top of the clothes like this as you can see all right right side facing each other and i'm going to turn it all around okay both the down for the front and the back but I'm going to leave a little space for the side of the front. It must, it must be for the front so that it can be able to turn it, okay? So let's assume that this bag do not have a zipper. There's nothing you can do. You cannot turn it together like this. I have it turned. It will not be able to turn. But if it is like this, then you can turn it around and leave out a little opening on the side of the front to turn it from, okay? So what if the zip is at the front? So what I'm going to do is, if the back is closed and the zip is at the front, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn everywhere. Then for the back, you leave a little space on the side. So from there, you can turn every other place out, okay? I hope you understand this. So I'm going to go ahead now and turn. So while turning it, I'm going to be so on it my hemming gum so that when i'm ironing it is going to be easier for me to iron than when you've not sew it and you're trying to put your hand inside to place the hemming gum okay so i'm going to attach my hemming gum while sewing i'm through with turning it i'm going to go ahead to notch all the um curved areas remember i said you should leave some a space from the front where you're going to turn it and I went ahead to leave the space myself, okay? So I'm going to go ahead to notch the armhole, the two armhole, and then the round neck. So remember I said you are going to attach your hemming gum while you're sewing it. So I attached my hemming gum on all the vital areas. So you decide if you want to also put at this shape inside. But I normally don't put hemming gum on the shape inside okay so i'm going to go ahead now and turn this inside out this is what it looks like after we are done turning and ironing it this is how beautiful it looks this is the back so I also went ahead to put the dart for the back and the zipper, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is to shake, okay? So this is what it looks like when we are done. This is absolutely beautiful. Tell me in the comment section if you are going to try this out. Alright, so if you are still watching to this part, thank you very much for sticking by. Please hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. Bye!